Welcome back to the Maelstrom, ladies and gentlemen. We have another Warhammer 40K battle report for you today. 2,000 points, Death Guard versus Necrons. Uh, today we're going to be playing Scorched Earth. Um, the Death Guard won the role and are the defenders. They're coming on from the side closest to the camera. The Necrons will be opposite them in the ruins. So we have six objectives. Uh, the primary objective scoring is as normal. Um, and then you've got your secondaries to uh, work through. Um, so that is the table. Uh, we will be right back with the armies. First up, we have the forces of the Death Guard. Today we are in a battalion detachment, and they are from the Inexorable Plague Company. To start things off in the HQ slot, we have a Lord of Virulence. Uh, he has the pathogen acidic malady on his plague spewers. Um, and he is our warlord and has arch contaminator for his warlord trait. In our second HQ slot, we have a malignant plague caster. Um, his psychic powers today are going to be miasma of pestilence, um, the gift of plagues, and then he is also going to have putrescent vitality because he took the putrid periapt as our relic for this game. Um, he also, uh, we spent one CP to give him the ferric blight from our company so that we could spread that around through flash outbreak. Uh, moving over into the troops, we have a squad of 10 Poxwalkers, and then we have four squads of five Plague Marines. Two of those squads have a Blight Launcher and a Demonic Plague Blade, and the other two squads have a Demonic Plague Blade, a Flail of Corruption, and a Plague Spewer. Um, we also have one Rhino to carry those men into combat. Um, then going over into our fast attacks, uh, we have a squad of two Mephitic Blight Haulers. We have two Fetid Bloat Drones that have a Heavy Blight Launcher each. Um, and then for our Elites, we have a three-man squad of Death Shroud Terminators. They have the Chimes and an extra Plague Spurt Gauntlet. Um, and then in the Heavy Support, we have a pair of Plague Burst Crawlers with Entropy Cannons. And then finishing things off in our Fortification Network, we are going to try out a, a Miasmic Malignifier today to see how it does. Uh, so that is it for the Death Guard. We will be right back with the Necrons. So today I will be playing the Nefric Dynasty. I have a battalion and for my HQs I have an Overlord. He is my Warlord with the Skin of Living Gold and he has the Relic Tachyon Arrow. I also have a Technomancer and a Destroyer Lord. He has the Voltaic Staff uh, Relic. For my troops I have two squads of 15 Gauss Flare Warriors a squad of 20 Gauss Reapers, and two squads of 10 Immortals. For fast attack, I have 11 Scarab bases and two different squads. And for heavy support and transports, I have three groups of destroyers, two regular destroyers, three with the Gauss Destructors, and one in Medic, and a Ghost Arc. All right, so you have seen the armies and you have seen the table. We will be back as we get stuck into the Maelstrom. Deployment is complete. The Death Guard were down first. The Death Shrouds and the Lord of Virulence are teleporting. And we have both uh, five-man squads with Plague Spewers and uh, Flails inside the Rhino. Uh, we've got our Poxwalkers on this flank, uh, three of our Demon Engines here across the center. One thing I didn't mention for those of you who might be watching for the first time, we're still working to get some terrain that works with uh, 9th edition, so we are treating all of our ruins as if they were five inches tall, so they're completely line of sight blocking. Um, and then we've got our Marines uh, with Blight Launchers, our Malignant Plague Caster, our Blight Haulers, and our Plague Burst Crawler on this edge behind this building. Eric, walk us down your Necron, sir. So I have Scarabs on each flank to uh, rush forward, lock up where I need to, block if they need to. 
the rest of my army is set up in the typical Necron Phalanx, uh, set up in the building to give me as much uh, help to my cover as I can get. Right, and you've got your destroyers all around the building there, right? Like yep. three squads around, and then you're teleporting... The Gauss Reapers. Gauss Reapers. All right, and then also my Miasmic Malina Fire deployed here uh, to give me some buff on this flank as we move forward. All right, so for the Death Guard, turn one, two, six for the Necrons. Who's going first, sir? I'll let you go first. All right, Death Guard are going to open things up here, and then we will be back. Death Guard turn one rolls to an end. Our demon engines maneuvered to get better lines of fire for the turn, and our plague marines moved up into the building here to start advancing on the objective. Rhino moved to the flank here uh, to negate some of the anti-tank firepower in the central building, and the pox walkers advanced to hold this objective. Um, to start things off, for psychics, we put putrescent vitality on these guys, and then with the help of a command reroll, we put miasma pestilence here as this was our most exposed demon engine for the turn. So we wanted to try to keep him in the fight. Um, our shooting, uh, we started with the two Plague Burst Crawlers. Uh, they took an immortal or two out here, uh, did one wound to these warriors, um, and or actually three, I think, and you reanimated two, correct? Correct. Um, and then we killed the Heavy Destroyer in the back uh, with the Gauss Destructor and left the Enmitic Exterminator with one wound remaining. Um, that was through the use of Disgusting Force to do three damage per hit. Um, and then uh, the mortal wounds don't matter because everything nearby has living metal and I couldn't shoot at it. So we left that part out, but we did do the three wounds to knock that destroyer closer to death. Um, our entropy cannons were able to kill off one of the destroyers here and both of the destroyers here um, and kill off a significant chunk of his anti-tank firepower. Uh, the two uh, blood drones fired into these immortals, but thanks to his uh, protocol of the Eternal Guardian, he was able to make several saves there and, and keep most of them in the fight. Um, the Mephitic Blight Haulers then fired their multi melters here, uh, did nothing. Their multi melters killed one, or wounded twice. Uh, he made one of his six up saves because of the cover for standing still, and then he uh, made his reanimation on the other. Uh, but they were able to kill off a couple of scarab bases, uh, coupled with a couple other shots that went there. I think it was blot launchers and bolters from here. Uh, we got three bases all together. Um, so some significant damage done, but the Necrons are not nearly out of this fight. The Necron advance begins next. So my immortals on the right flank uh, shot into the Mephitic Blight Haulers, managed to deal one wound, two wounds, somewhere in there. Uh, the majority of my warrior block fired into the Miasmic Malignifier, dealt it one or two wounds. Uh, what could fired into the bloat drone and dealt it a handful of wounds. Yep, it's down to five, so lost four wounds. Um, I fired my Relic Tachyon arrow into the Plague Burst Crawler and hit it, but failed to wound, even needing a two plus. Yeah, it was under uh, Miasma Pestilence. He hit it, failed to wound it, and he couldn't reroll it because his destroyer had already fallen on his face by that point. Yep, uh, he fired into the other Plague Burst Crawler and filled the hit on a 2+, plus yep. and uh, re-rolled it to try and hit, and he failed again. Yep, so no luck there. My Immortals on this end fired into the Rhino and managed to take a handful of wounds out of it. Yep, we popped a smoke screen to mitigate that somewhat, and he knocked three wounds out of it. So, I have dice everywhere now. He made me be a dice accountant for sure, uh, but not a ton of damage able to come through for that first turn. Uh, Death Guard turn two is coming up next. All right, Death Guard turn two is through the charge phase. For this turn, Protocol of the Undying Legions was active. Um, to start things off, uh, we maneuvered forward. Mephitic Blight Haulers moved to this flank. Marines moved up to claim the objective, while their brothers moved to this flank next to their furnace. Uh, we moved the two bloke drones forward, and we repositioned shots on these guys to shoot at the remainder of the destroyers. Down here, all of the Marines clambered out of the Rhino, which moved forward. Um, Poxwalkers stood still, and then we teleported our Terminators in here. Uh, Terminators were able to kill off all but one Scarab base here. Um, our shooting from the two Plague Spewers killed a couple of Warriors here, but Undying Legions plus the ones... Uh, getting re-rolled on the Warriors for reanimation protocols saved most of them and kept them in the fight. However, this squad was cut down. Um, they took fire from the Marines, uh, the Blight Launchers, uh, and the Plague Burst Crawlers Cannons, which was enough to wipe them out completely. 
the final destroyer, a four, uh, or well, he took two entropy cannons. Uh, the other two failed his buddy. Uh, the two that hit him, though, both failed to do anything. Uh, we were able to bring him down with a multi-melta shot from here that could draw a line of sight to him through. Um, we fired the other multi-melta and both missile launchers into the uh, Ghost Ark. He used quantum deflection, and apparently the blight haulers just crossed their arms and gave up at that point because they missed with every shot. However, um, their, uh, their uh, bow spurts were able to kill off a chunk of the Immortal Squad, uh, thanks to um, Flash Outbreak giving the Furnace um, Ferric uh, Blight for the turn. And then we also put Gift of Plagues on it in the Psychic Phase. So that did give it range to cause negative 1 AP, which caused a ton of this damage. For his other power, we attempted a Smite. Uh, he failed it. I got greedy, tried to roll it again, and he rolled two ones and blew two holes in his own head. Uh, so we're going to get to use the Putrid Periapt next turn to hopefully heal some wounds if we can pass the Psychic check. Um, in the meantime, we've got several assaults to work. Blight haulers are charging the immortal survivors. Uh, the rhino is moving in and locking up the warriors. Uh, one squad of marines here is going into the immortals, and the other is going into the final scarab swarm. Uh, so we're going to work all those combats, and then we will return. Five phase rolls to an end. The plague marines on this end were able to roll up the scarabs and move over into the immortals. Uh, we used Haze of Corruption to try to get the Flail to do some damage, and he totally whiffed. Uh, he hit three times and then rolled three twos for his uh, wound rolls. Uh, Rhino didn't get anything done, took one wound in return. Um, down here, the Mephitic Blight Haulers chewed up the last of the Immortals and moved into the Scarab. Uh, the Scarab then used Self-Destruction, and to continue Eric's luck for the entire game so far, he rolled a one. Uh, and did absolutely nothing there. So uh, not a good beginning here for the Necrons. They are getting crunched on pretty heavily. Um, they are going to bring in their Gauss Reapers now, though, and see what they can get done here in the bottom of two. So every time it could fire, shot into the Mephitic Blight Haulers, except for the Ghost Ark, it shot into the Bloat Drone and managed to bring it down to one wound. Yep, got it down to one wound. His Gauss Reapers dropped in, did two wounds here. Uh... And that was it for shooting. Uh, he just hung out in combat down here. So we got several fights to work. And you're going into combat here, right? Yep. All right. We're going to work these combats. And then we will be back. So I managed to knock one wound out of the Blot Haulers and no damage anywhere else. He dealt me three wounds in return and killed four immortals. Yep. Used Haze of Corruption and again did nothing. Uh, the first blow bolloed, uh, killed three guys, uh, but he reanimated all three. Uh, but we did manage to get four across the plague weapons. Um, so that is it for turn two. Turn three is coming up next. Death Guard are through the charge phase. We went ahead and moved forward with the bulk of our stuff again. Uh, these Marines slid over into the gap to provide some fire support through, through to here. Um, Mephitic Blight Haller stayed in combat, and these Marines did as well. Terminators started their march up the table. Uh, we used overwhelming generosity on the Plague Spurt Gauntlets to fire across into these warriors. Um, we ended up killing them down to six guys, and then this Blight Launcher uh, drone rolled six hits, six wounds, and wiped the entire uh, Necron squad out. Uh, we were also under Flash Outbreak down here. Uh, we threw Ferric Blight onto this squad of Marines to help out. We then used the Blightning. Uh, between that and Bolt Pistols, we were able to kill off all but one, or three Immortals, sorry, uh, we killed him down to one, but he made some saves to come back. Uh, the guys here got shot up by Plague Burst Crawler Fire. Um, entropy Cannons went here and did nothing. Um, and then we were able to bring it down to seven wounds between Smite. Uh, and then when we cast Gift of Plagues onto this guy to spread Ferric Blight on this side of the table, uh, we rolled high enough that it threw a sec uh, two more wounds between Smite and it uh, to this tank. So it took a total of five Two more wins from a Blight Launcher hit. Uh, these Marines are now charging it. Uh, we killed this Lord in combat with shooting, uh, and then uh, it used uh, the... Resurrection Protocols. Thank you. Resurrection Protocols to come back, um, and we are charging into him now to try to finish him off a second time. Uh, these Marines shot themselves clear of combat. They are charging into these Immortals. So we got several combats to work still. We will be back once they are done. The fight phase rolls to an end. Um, on this flank, the charging Marines were able to finally turn their flail on, and they destroyed the entire squad of Immortals. Um, here in the middle, 
the plague caster was able to punch three wounds out of the ghost arc with his staff. Uh, the Marines were able to whittle it down to two wounds with their knives. And the Mephitic Blight Haulers were able to kill uh, their opponent once more. At that point, the Necrons are completely hammed up in, uh, with no ability to score points. Uh, so they're going to go ahead and tap out. Dice were not friendly to them this game. Um, that will be a Death Guard victory.